So the only impression of the Velvet Knights that I have in my my brain is the year where like the shark ate the judge. What uh-huh. like the I early was like 90s. mid nineties. Has yeah. VK's vibe always been that like goofy, have fun, like still be good, or was it different? Like when you were marching I, in the late eighties. The only place that I ever marched where I worked um, at the same level of of hard of difficult of hard work. Cadets worked as hard as VK. <laughs> Devils did not. Devils was more reliant on, you know, having people tr- being treated right and being well rested and having them be talented and go do go be you, you know. Yeah. Um, whereas uh, VK was just like we were just clawing and working. Hard. I mean, even though it was a lot of fun on the field, you know, it was uh, it was like you know not enough water breaks and you know. Buses breaking down and questionable food and all that kind of, you know, that kind of stuff with some of the lower cores at times, you know. Um, I mean, there was a bus crash in 87, the whole bus. I was in a bus that caught air. I'm not kidding. (laughs) (laughs) We're asleep. I'll tell the quick story. We're we're on our way to Allentown in 87. And uh, and I remember we were going so slow. You look out the window and like I swear you could run faster than that like and we're going like that for a long time I'm like why are we going so slow like we're not even going to get in in time you know and you're trying to sleep and then we pull over and there's like there's some kind of thing and you, you open the curtain to look out and see what the hell is going on and I see someone walking back to the engine compartment and literally they have a rope okay and I'm like I'm not mechanically you know inclined but I I, I don't know what you could fix on a VK bus uh, with a rope you know like I I don't this seemed questionable to me Anyway, after um, af- after that, we start taking off, and now we're going fast as hell. I can't believe how fast we're going. I've never been this fast in a bus. I'm like, oh, wow, now we're talking. Rope you know? worked. <laughs> yeah, the rope is that. It must be some great rope. And then, you know, you <laughs> kind of kind of drifting off to sleep, and then it starts to feel like some kind of, you know, he's starting to wake up. It's like, hey, hey, start hearing somebody. Hey, what the hell? Hey, what's – you know, and then we hear the the bus driver go, "Mayday, Mayday, we're going down." I'm like, "We're we, we, <laughs> we on a plane." What? And it's like, <laughs> like we caught air. We went off like the road turned, and 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 we didn't, and we went right off this kind of like mini, you know, kind of cliff thing, and like, you know, at the time, like walk bands are like flying everywhere, and. Just like it's just, I thought for sure somebody died. It wasn't funny at all. It was like, oh my god. So then, you know, the the, the you know the, the bus finishes and we're on this crazy angle like this. You know, we stop finally stop moving, and everyone we see these red lights that don't make any sense. We're like, what is that? Someone goes, dude, that's the other bus. So we're like, oh, you know. But I mean, people got messed up. I had I had stitches in my in my chin. I had to go to the hospital. And then I did Allentown with no no kind of rest or warm up after that. It was right from the hospital to the gig because if we didn't do the gig, they wouldn't let us do finals. Oh, wow, wow! So no we were right off well. right off the bus, right to the gate. You know, we didn't even get a warm up. You know, we just went right for it so that we could at least get a score and be there for finals. Wow! And I remember I came back from the coming back from the hospital. Bobby Hoffman was there and he saw me. He goes, "Hey, man, you all right?" I'm like, "Yeah, I'm okay. I just want to do the gig. Yeah, I, I just." I haven't had a chance to eat. I'm just, you know, I'm starving, you know. He goes, oh, he reaches into his wallet, gives me 20 bucks. He goes, go to the McDonald's, go get yourself something, catch me, catch up with me when you can. I was like, how cool are you? Yeah, yeah. He might as well give me $200 at that point, you know, like yeah, $20. Yeah. Was yeah. Like, what? You know, for me and for, for him to do that, I thought that was like just so cool. So anyway, the 87, uh, you know, in when I was in VK, I thought it was amazing that we did things that were actually funny that you're doing all year and the comic gags still worked. Somehow the magic was there that it was Uh funny. It's hard to do funny, but it wasn't like we didn't work our butts off. But that being said, when we were at retreat, we kind of had no rules. Like we kind of did whatever, you know, um, when we walked to the gate, we had a a boom box on the center snare playing red hot chili peppers. That's what we (laughs) did. That's awesome. Dude, a, song, a, a, a song called Freaky Styly. Uh, <laughs> very ex- explicit lyrics, but that's what we went to the gate uh, rocking. And um, yeah, it was it was a it was a great it was a great time. And I remember when we first got our our the reaction of the crowd because we 
we thought that the drum solo was like not that cool. We're like, this is not like Blue Devils. This is not, you know, everything felt because Matt was just writing some really interesting, cool stuff that was really honestly behind, kind of beyond us, our ability to really understand how cool it was, you know, and and then when uh, when we when we did it for the crowds and the crowds just went crazy. I mean, like people on their feet, like I'd never heard crowd reactions, you know, like that. Like if you love, watch the 87 and 88, when the whole crowd starts clapping with our with our accelerando, you know, and it's like, don't, don't crack and don't listen to the crowd, you know, like, uh, you know, that was uh, that was incredible. We I had way more uh, crowd feedback and response and love from the crowd when I was in VK than I ever did in Blue Devils or Cadets by about a thousand. It was crazy. I That's can awesome. believe that. Just based on like the sh- couple shows I have seen, I could definitely believe that being the case. It was cool stuff. It was fun. It was fun. It was like little in jokes. Like you'd be in rehearsal and someone would tell a joke and then it wound up being in the show. You know, like someone, <laughs> it would go around the core and everybody would think it was funny. And then some staff heard it and go, oh, yeah, let's put it in. Oh, you know what we should do? We should have a shark come out. Like a lot of those ideas came out like that. You know? <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome, though. It makes the show just very like unique to the members like very much Definitely. like their thing that they own yeah. yeah it's awesome well the staff was awesome too and they had a lot of those were a lot of in, uh, unique personalities and individuals that were all working together there very funny people too so it was really awesome i was lucky to be there when i was there you know 